everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, we're in the um, uh, Esterlon map again, and we've got the BWS uh, Lowboy again. But we've got the 359 uh, FLX and uh, the Black Swan skin, and looking pretty sharp. Trailer looks good in black too. And we got a Grove uh, mobile crane on there. And uh, yeah, so our trip today isn't very long. It's only 13 miles, but uh, it may take us a little while yet. So we'll mark the time here and we'll get going. So uh, without further ado, let's fire her up. We got 3406B in here. Get our cells all together. Beacons. On. Let's have a quick look at this trailer or uh, the load. That's a pretty neat one. It's got a jib on it, can be swung out. Pretty cool. Anyway, we should uh, get going here. So, I was gonna do. I just, I'm out of time, guys. I'm sorry about that, but I'm. I've got to run, i got a commitment i got to get to, and uh, I wanted to configure up a uh, SCS 389, and we were comparing it back to back to the Roland, Turn right. and the SCS with the uh, customization, the accessories package, and I think that would have been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I forgot how little torque this thing seems to have off the line. Not this, is this intersection all messed up again? It was really bad on the way here. It seems nobody can get around it. That guy got his four ways on. Yeah, it's messed up for some reason. The, uh, we're going to have to fly around it. As we don't have time for this nonsense. I don't know what's the matter. It's, there was a car and a bus that come together. These guys just can't seem to get their poop in a group. We'll come up to about here. We've got to figure out which way we're going here. Imagine we're going left. Uh, that'll do. Oh boy. That's in real low gear there. Keep right. I'll keep After right. 50 <laughs> yards, turn right. So, so good I am at guessing where we're going. Turn right. Now, see how we do with this trailer we're going down here. Should be pretty good. The only thing is that not having the sting or pivot, but uh, I don't know how that'll affect the handling of the thing. Oh, piece of cake. Just scrubbing off a lot of rubber. <laughs> oh, I got the diff lock on. I don't think it's going to let me unlock it while we're moving. Better hop in, see where we're going left. So we're going to that Benbow, which is uh, when we came down here with the Astro from Morrowind, or whatever it was up at the north end. Uh, we went by Benbow, that was the first town we came to, up on the mountain there. So that's where we're going. This map isn't on my, uh, it doesn't compute. That thinks we're, thinks we're in Montana still. He's got me out in the middle of nowhere here. So we're gonna have to 
just ignore that and go with the data page. So, good time to look at this load. Keep left. Oh, wandering around. <laughs> so I set the time for uh, early in the morning when I picked up the load. And so we'll notice that the sun the sun isn't gonna change a whole lot. Keep left. As last time when we were in the evening. Well that looks slow. No, no problem. I like this little part of the road here with the trees. And because I've lived out here in Alberta for a long time, more than half my life, well more than half my life, but where I grew up there was big trees like this and it canopy over the roads and it was pretty, pretty epic. It was also really humid. <laughs> so I'll trade the view for the lack of humidity here very dry where I am. But it's a nice little piece of highway there. Yeah, the FLX 359, man, what's not to like? I got the seat kind of far back here. Like if I look sideways, I'm looking at the C pillar of the truck. Just in case, we'll use one of those two. Oh boy, so the SCS, uh, I did the uh, Alberta heavy haul skin and just put it up on Steam, so it's being Friday. So, and if you have the Roland, it should work on the Roland. I haven't tried it to see that everything comes out in the right places. But if you get the, so I put, um, okay, so a couple things on SCS 389. So, the Alberta Heavy Haul skin works on all cabs, so I made a version for the day cab, and uh, the ultra cab, everything it all works. I do have to, boy I wonder, hopefully this, yeah I think it's going to be okay. And then I did an old school skin that we used in the last video I think, if it, or the one before with the 389 and hauling that uh, grain hoppers and uh, that skin on the ultra cap the DOT lettering was in the wrong place somebody commented on it and, uh, so I redid that skin and uploaded it today being Friday so if you've got that old school skin for the 389 grab the new one from the workshop and it's improved a bit I updated the I IFTA stickers for the uh, ultra cab got rid of the uh, it had a clean idle sticker on the passenger side as well and I moved the driver's side one to the door where they typically are so a few little tidy up items there should look a little better and uh, no, no day cab on that one though Here's a long climb coming here. We're going to have to drop the cruise. Get down a gear. I wander over into this lane. That guy gets the message. This is that long one where we came down with that... Uh, 
Jake engaged all the way. Yeah, we're at the uh, 60,000 pound boat. So it's not overly heavy, but it's just, the, the climb is just relentless. It'll eventually wear you down. That's what truck drivers don't like about long hauls, long inclines. And uh, have you ever heard of the Coquihalla Highway here in uh, British Columbia? Uh, well, next door to me, I'm in Alberta, but next door that Coquihalla, holy, it's got some long climbs that will really slow you down. And before they built it, the old number one, the Trans Canada, was, you know, up and down. It was like they didn't have the long, gradual climb and the long, it's a different route altogether. And uh, some of the uh, climbs are pretty abrupt, but they're short. And you can get momentum and get up the other side. <laughs> Unless it's summer and you're following a Volkswagen camper van, then you're hooped. But if uh, if you can get a run at it, you're fine. And it's but that long, unrelenting climb and then the long descent on the Coca Hall is a bit of a real life nightmare. Like if you're heavily loaded. Imagine if you got enough power and you're 28,000 pound load, you're probably fine. But yeah, we've been climbing now for quite a while. It ain't over yet. down one more gear. I gotta hold it here, I think. It was just the corner. Here we go. We're starting to get some RPMs again. See the oh we just passed a sign there, historic route 66. And let's see. I think it'll be off down on the other side of there. You'll have a chance to get on it. And uh, I'm not sure if it goes north from there. It might. No, I don't know. I don't think so. You have to get on it again up here. Oh, look at this go now. Yeah, some Benbow's up in this mountain, mountainous area here, where we're going. There's some pretty nutty stuff up here. Oh, there's the highway going underneath. Yeah, you can't go the old 66 from back there. We could have got on, um, could have turned off and got on it. Oh, that tunnel down there, right down there, that tunnel, it's not marked or anything, but you can take it and uh, go quite a distance and come up. Where the heck is it you come up? I think you come up on the other side of the road in uh, in that uh, tunnel in there, in that one under construction. Oops, can't be 100% sure of that because it's been a little while. this thing is to the roof of this tunnel. Oh, not bad. Still climbing. Yeah, this truck looks good in this skin. Black really looks good on it. Pretty sure I would have done one of these for uh, steam. I'll have to check. 
Um, mm. Oh boy. I know I see guys putting them in videos. Right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. I gotta get inside and see the map. I've made a wrong turn here so many times before. Oh, it's, we're turning around. Oh, I guess we got to go back. We're dropping off in the other direction. Okay. Couldn't get across the highway, I guess. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. I'll take a moment to look at the map here. Yeah, so, oh no. What? Where's it got us going to? Namek there. Oh wow, look at all of that messing around we got to do to get over there. I wonder if there's a different way that's shorter than all of that. We're right here. If we went this way, yeah, let's reroute. Uh, can't we just click here somewhere? No, we're going to turn right and take the old 66 around there. I'll be faster. Hopefully there's nobody coming up the inside. Yeah, he is, but... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. head on right on through yeah pretty cool I may be speeding just a little bit here <laughs> that Prius up ahead isn't using too much electricity right now going pretty slow I guess this is why they didn't have us coming this way. Oh, it dragged the trailer over something there. That's too bad. Try not to do that here.
pretty close now, I believe. Yeah, I think we can see the other highway up ahead. Yards, turn right. And here we are. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, there's that tunnel that we could go through and explore. <laughs> Provide we get this thing in that uh, fairly tight turn here into this uh, where we're going. But, uh, like I say, you can maneuver this trailer. You can back it up because that fixed stinger, so a pinned stinger, I should say. So we're going to have to swing by here a little bit. You have reached your destination. Well, I think we're going to get in here. And it's going to be boring, <laughs> the drop-off. I guess we were able to turn the uh, diff lock off. We were spinning just one axle there. There we have it. I think we got time. We should do a little, uh, get rid of this load. And uh, keep the lights off, the beacon. We might go down that little tunnel. Let's see how we do here, how it pays. 12 miles. <laughs> we went 12 miles all that time. Two gallons, roughly 100,000 bucks. Wow, it's big bucks. Okay, let's, um, let's do something different here. Let's, uh, we're going to ditch the trailer. So we will go to the trailer manager. Excuse me. All right. Hop in. Put on some lights because we're going in a tunnel. The first time I went down this tunnel, I just kind of saw it there and thought, man, I got to take a boo down there. But I. Uh, I was driving along really cautiously, thinking that any minute it's going to end, I'm going to run into a, a solid wall. Oh, what's happening there? There we go. Wow, no traction in here. Let's get over here. It might be a little smoother. Yeah, we'll see where we come up. It's going to be in that construction zone, I think. It's funny how that light is traveling along ahead of us there. Highlights don't make any difference. Yeah, I see we're going under the highway now. You can see in the uh, uh, map. Oh, Mudslide Creek. I think that's where we're headed. Uh, we're going under it. Okay, so there we go. We're under Mudslide Creek. Out the other side of that. And here comes that con finished construction that they've been working on. So we'll come out the other end of this uh, construction here. Oh, 
little funny business with the map here. Hi Frank, how are you doing today? Good. Did you get your break in? <laughs> See if he had the tail end of his pants worn out, because a lot of these guys sit around a lot. Yeah, so here's a place to, uh, you come in here with the B double, or a low boy double, it can, <laughs> they can park you in a tough spot here with this job. But, yeah, so there it is, there's where we went up, we went right on by here came back down and we were coming by the other day in the Astro, this is the thing I pointed out where uh, came in here with Ken and uh, yeah it was a little tricky getting things dropped off right here. I think you can go down that road over there, can you? No you can't. Anyway, well I guess we'll wrap it there guys, it was kind of interesting and uh, just you know we, we traveled probably 14 miles maybe and uh took half an hour so <laughs> good times i love this map it's so cool and there's so much more i've just we scratched the surface uh, there's a whole lot to see so every two three videos like i said i'll come back to it and we'll uh, explore something new and maybe we'll do uh there's a climb up over the mountain where you, you can't take a trailer but it's you go way the heck up and then you know you gotta your truck's got to be a bit of a billy goat. Might be an idea to use a shorter chassis. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I could do it with this one. I have to look back to my screenshots because I took a bunch of screenshots up, shots up there before and see what truck I took up over there. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, have a fantastic weekend and um, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.